Can she could think I'm a park for all day. She's probably gonna her. fucking die. Shit, Abby! Oh! <gasps> did I hit it? Did I hit it? I panicked and. Oh! Oh god, oh, no! Emma. It's still live! No! That does not look good. Oh no! I do. What have I done? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the quest. It's Joey, and today we're going to be playing more of the quarry. So in the last episode, we were playing as Lauren in the prologue. We were on our way up to Hackett's quarry, and we were stopped by a creepy police officer who turned out to be maybe good. I don't know. He was kind of sus, y'all. But before all that, we got into a car crash because apparently Lauren's colonizing ass boyfriend doesn't know how to drive. And so upon crash landing in the dark forest, we went and explored a little bit. We got spooked. There was a bitch in the back seat. There was a creepy ass cop. Our colonizing ass boyfriend got eaten by a fucking ghoul. So that's kind of where we left off, y'all. Oh, and the cop sedated Lauren. And that was kind of the end. And then we met Michelle Pfeiffer, who was playing the role of <laughs> the fortune teller bitch. And she said some ominous shit. And that's where we are. So without further ado, let the quest continue. All right, y'all, we're continuing this bitch. All right, so I just remembered we're playing with Jacob. I, he kind of looks like the mechanic dude that was like working on the car that looked like it was about to blow up. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, here we go, y'all. Oh, you know, sometimes indie music sounds a little like it's from the sticks, you know? And it tricks you. And it's like, yeah, we're from the sticks, but we're good people still. And so we're gonna make some liberal aligned music. But it's still gonna have a little bit of the flavor of our hometown in Hackett, Louisiana, or Alabama. Yeah. Something like that. Yay, we made it! 1953. Ladies, peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Okay, so summer just ended. Summer camp just ended. Oh, effective. You never know. They'll get, they'll get over it. Uh, uh, uh. Effective. You never know. Man, fuck them kids. I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh huh. Like they'll get over Emma. What? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not oh. a bad. Oh my. <laughs> you know what? You we had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh yeah, so cool that you're never gonna see your special little boo boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> I think she wants me, y'all. That's what it is. Okay, this is, um... Jealous as fuck. You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <laughs> wow, y'all. Um, so this cabin looks like the exact bitch that... Oh, yeah, we had made it here. And that's when we got attacked by the ghoul, right? That motherfucker's dead, y'all. What's this? Ooh. Oh, hey. Cock ring. This is Emma's. Emma's cock ring. Shh. Stop. If you're a child, stop watching right now. How dare you? This is not for you. <laughs> I'm an adult with an adult mouth, okay? Shit. Alright, so Emma left her shit. So she left with the bus, I guess? Camp Lodge. Built as the central hub of Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp Lodge, is where campers congregate for meals, lessons, and indoor activities. It's also home to our nurses' station, just in case of any <coughs> likely bumps and bruises. You know, I'm trying to read fast so I don't bore y'all, and like, this is what happens. Did I read this before, though? Like when we first came up with Lauren. Camp cabins. Campers bunk together in the camp cabins, supervised by our team of helpful counselors. A large tree that stands tall in the middle of the cabin symbolizes the growth of all our campers at Hackett's Quarry and their journey into blossoming Hacketeers. Abigail, I don't get it. What's Abba? So this is where these people are. So she's by herself. Looking the bean. Okay, well... 
But I got, yeah, path. Okay, so... Laura and Max. Oh, her name was Laura. Who's Lauren? <laughs> love at first fright. Journey through all the twists and turns of young love and discover just how much a relationship can endure. My relationship did not endure for a second, bitch, because I fucking left that bitch as soon as I could. Oh, great. We're talking to her again. All right. Jake, bags, focus. You are so thirsty for me that, like, you just can't be nice. That's what it is. <laughs> that sexual frustration, y'all. It'll get you every time. All right, what's this? I know it's the, it's the map, but maybe he's got something fun to say. I don't know. Doesn't kill you, make you stronger, bitch. What doesn't kill you oh. will make you stronger. Bitch. Not in the mood, sign. <laughs> so our dude is not in the mood. For things. Um. For things that are bad. Oh, I thought someone whipped out a fucking acoustic guitar and started playing it. There's always that one friend, y'all, that got a fucking acoustic guitar and they're like... Surely you guys want to hear me play my guitar, my somber ass, melancholy ass music. Okay, who's this guy? Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? <laughs> Good to know. So he's listening to the news. So he seems like a very pragmatic kid. We've learned things about him this day. So what happens if you keep doing things over and over again? Okay. <clears throat> Hello? That's fucking rad. Uh, Whatever, man. Alright, we're gonna do it one more time, and I'll skip it if it's the same. But sometimes in these games, y'all, fucking. The fire? Only her body was recovered, along with the North Kill Sheriff and some. <clears throat> oh. Hello? Okay. I swear the thing that he, uh, oh, whatever, man. that the news was saying was different this time. Maybe it's just playing. Uh, okay, so the paths are still showing things. Why? Oh, keepsakes. Cherish or perish. A cherished keepsake worth dying for. Experience the power of nostalgia. It might just help you survive. Hopefully it won't end up as something to remember you by. Oh. Oh no. Hmm. So is the bitch dead or what? Emma? Alright, so we got Emma. I don't know what his name is. I already forgot. Um, let's go look. Jacob. Jacob. Jacob's the cutie with the back back hat. <laughs> Emma is his old girlfriend that left on the bus. And then the girl right there who's sexually frustrated is some girl. I don't know her name. Did she tell us her, her name, y'all? Get to see what the oh, inside Jesus camera Christ. looks like. Hey, hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on, broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, broken. please. Ah. Uh. Sorry, bro. <sighs> cool. Are they in there fucking. Were, in, were they? Were they in there fucking? Can we switch camera angles? Can we look through the windows? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah. By the way, y'all, I put this on 2K. Last time it was on 4K. Y'all came from that video. Sorry. Fucking. <laughs> Think at this day and age, something would work at 4K. Shit. I guess Quarry Summer Camp es established 1953. Cool. Cool. But oh, why? Chapter 1, Lodge Parking Lot. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp was established way back in 1953 and is still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Thank you for doing the math for me because I wanted to know what the year amountage was, but I did not feel like doing the math because that is beneath me. <laughs> um. Man. What are we looking at? Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a it goddamn is. Bob Ross beautiful it's a beautiful it's a beautiful boy 
What? He's got an underbite. <laughs> Which is still, you know, hey. That could still be cute, you know? He's still cute. And we all have a little bit of an underbite. Or an overbite. Okay. Oh, skill. Alright, so this is what it looks like inside the cabin, y'all. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. What the fuck? I gotta put a character in a video game that's a horror video game that hates horror. Like, you know we're all playing this horror video game because we like horror. And now we gotta deal with this fucking nerd who doesn't like horror. Okay. Sure, sure. What y'all trying to do, developers? What are you trying to make me feel about this boy? Doesn't like horror. It's kind of all we know. He's kind of vanilla right now. He's a little annoyed with sexually frustrated girl. Why am I looking up? What's that about? Oh, look, we're on the set of the fucking Until Dawn. Now, look, this ain't the set of Until Dawn. Why are there papers on the floor, fam? Oh, because the kids just left. Apparently, we don't do daily cleaning. And we're still not cleaning. I want to be done with this part because I can't with the little acoustic flicky flicks. Y'all, I'm a city boy. I can't. <laughs> Sorry, I know all y'all love it in your heart. It's like the twangs of your heart right now. Fuck it. Twang. I can't. Imagine me of those sad moments in fucking full house when like the dog dies or the mom dies or fucking you know shit like that i know that guy was there and i guess i could have talked to him but i was musing about very important things so are we back in here or like was this a different place shit okay hey oh wait we found something show text library books flood castle elliot sparks slaughter by sunrise jose rodriguez Okay. Cool. So, like, I've missed stuff. Like, already. That's crazy. Should we try to be thorough, y'all? Listen, if it gets boring, I'll cut, I'll cut the shit out. Okay. But, like, I'm gonna do a good job in this game, you know? <laughs> Even though I fucked up. So bad! <laughs> in the first... No, I didn't. I made choices. And those choices were fucking valid. Because... Fuck the po-po. And, you know, shit like that. <coughs> no, that guy was creepy, though. Out, you know, he was fucking with us. And then he was like, you're going to do what I tell you to do. And I'm not even going to explain it because I don't have to explain it because I'm better than you, bitch. So we had to give him sass because, like, no, nah, that shit, that ain't, your shit ain't finna fly. Shit. All right, so I'm hugging a left wall, y'all. This is... This is what OCD looks like. Is that you, Dylan? Dylan. It sounds like he I might be I can only cute. deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? No one likes Jacob. No one likes Jacob. Well, let's talk to Dylan part two. Dylan... Okay, really, dude? What's this guy's Locking name? me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, Just... whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? Nah, i got to stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Why are you half British? Okay, what the fuck's going on? Why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Why did I just realize how aggressive my dude was? What the fuck? Maybe that's why no one likes his ass. He's a fucking aggressive one. Well, maybe his aggression will get him through this whole fucking death trap of a fucking quarry. Come on, cute fucking big eyes. He's got big ol' eyes. He's cute. 
Um, I guess I'm gonna go outside and face the wrath of sexual frustration in human form. Or not? Wait, did I? I didn't even go through this whole side, y'all. Oh, right. She said bags. So bags. Bags it is. Bags it is that you carry. No, I wasn't done. Oh, all the choices were made. Oh, the twang stopped, yes. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're I don't like when the character's that. just oh mean for no you reason. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay. That's not go. an excuse to be but mean. You're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Defensive. Mind your own bit. I want to be... You know what? No, she's pissing me off. Okay, I'm going to need you back all the way Caitlin. out of my business, Caitlin. Well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. Uh, mm, wait, check no, that. No, she's calling me trash. First, she cleaned the house. Then she took out the trash. Then she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. So either Jacob did some crazy shit or... Yeah, no thanks. Man, you're starting to bum me out, Jake. Well, I... Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Am I supposed yeah, to be happy I'm that you're sorry, fucking being an asshole? Ain't ya? What's going on? Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan? Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, right. and the plot thickens. <sighs> Are we besties? Really just dumped you just like that? Well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans, and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't gonna work after today, you know. And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try like long distance or whatever. <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> Bitch. Uh, well, I don't like it, no. no. but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a b yeah, stupid just... summer fling. What else did I think Pragmatic. Uh, let's Get see. over it. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just uh, a generic all-men list. Huh. Yes, let's <laughs> hate men. That's the way forward. Just fucking hate so men. So are we sure that this all of old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> We'll take a look. It better be. She's One dead. more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't yeah. killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> she dead, uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like I'm a huge asshole and about. I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Oh no, someone stole our way out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I don't. I guess she's we'll very stop. like in my fucking business, you know. Like, wait, wait. So Emma's still here. Why would I do any of these? Am I the villain? Y'all, am I the villain? Steal rotor arm or break fuel line? What? 
How about do nothing? That's a choice, right? Hold on. I'm gonna wait a second, y'all. I might I'll skip it if I if nothing happens. But like, why would I do either of these? Can I leave? So they're gonna force me down this whole like narrative of like I'm thirsty as hell for Emma and I want now I gotta sit here and play through this whole experience. Well, let's see what the fuel line no. So the breaking the fuel line sounds more like permanent and like we might need that later on. So we're gonna steal the rotor arm and we'll have it and put it back when we get yelled at. Since we're an asshole apparently. That's what we do around here. Please catch me. What's going on? Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Oh, up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 Along. Oh, dick. Check out. Got that bitch. Boom. Oh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, my Ooh, God. Good These characters Freak. are not likable so far. <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? <laughs> oh, oh the the group. I'm tired Back of this off, whole thing. Shit. All right. I'm sorry, I... Peace and love, man. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Yeah. You I'm ready to fucking thirsty as hell for Emma, okay? I'm tired of you. Where I'm tired of her. Else? Why, why would I yeah. know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> Y'all, what the fuck? Can I switch characters? <laughs> I want to be the kid that's just like sitting there on the fucking his little iPad or whatever, listening to music or listening to the news. That's who I want to be. I thought it froze, y'all. The fuck? Don't be doing all this. I put you in 2K. Oh, this game runs like shit, fam. I'm looking at OBS right now. It's running fine. If it runs worse, it's not my fucking fault. Okay, so this is the girl that was alone. The artsy, quiet one. She also seems like she might be more likable than the, the others, all of the above over there. The British kid, half British kid is not too bad. The quiet one's not that bad, but like, too much going on over there, y'all. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially Oh, so that's Emma, masters. right? I'm assuming. High five up top. Uh, sure. I mean, oh boy. so immediately she You're has a crush on you. You're about to get your phone back, you. aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck. Love triangle, y'all. Love yep. triangle. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. <laughs> and by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. I mean, we're not gonna leave the fucking bags, bitch. Break that shit open. Okay. Fuck. Let's do it. We Let's better just leave not get all in our stuff. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. <sighs> On three. One. <laughs> two. <sighs> three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. And nothing happens. Are you sure they're going to think it was a bear? It. Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, yeah. well, I'm just going to take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Okay, so we're Mrs. Insecurity. Make crush on Emma. Aw. 
This was little Izzy's. Miss two. I wanna play a game. <laughs> Leave that shit, though, what? Yeah, oh, I could have used that to probably like probably just stay here, you creepy little distract thing. an enemy later. Fuck. Oh no. Okay, I gotta get in the mindset of like we're about to go through some shit. Not like this is all that's happening right now. Okay. Can I take it? <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh. Okay. I mean, you know, let's whatever. Well, okay. Abigail. Choices were made, Abigail. Fool's errand. Stupid is as stupid does. Dies. Whoa. Playing the fool has both vices and virtues, but all decisions lead to consequences. <gasps> oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that's the dude that was fucking with the, like, the, not the trunk, but the, the front part of the car. <laughs> the engine and shit. And, uh, yeah, the explosion. I bet if I did fuck with the, um, the other shit, the pipe thing, I don't know cars, okay, bitch. The fucking tube that has fucking shit in it. That's what's gonna cause the fire, and we avoided that, okay? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, I think I made the right choice there. I completely forgot about that. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Playing the fool boat has both vices and virtues, but all decisions lead to consequences. And if ignorance is bliss, what does that make foolishness? I mean, those are not, like, parallel things, so... I don't know. So, he removed the rotor from the motherfucking minivan. Down the rabbit hole. I want to play a game. Something toys with you, but perhaps you can turn the tables by following a path unknown. Remember, finding that seem... Findings that seem... Could be, well, your last hope of survival. I read that terribly, but you guys get the fucking gist. And you can see that shit on the screen. Moving on. Um... I left the fucking, if this isn't the frumpiest ass, but I like her because, like, she's not, she's, like, unassuming, you know. She's gonna die, but. Why would this place be in the news? Let's see. Newspaper headline scrap. Uh, chapter one, Camp Cabins. A scrap, we're not gonna read that anymore. A scrap from the local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quarry? North Kill Gazette. Cute name for a fucking newspaper. Oh, fuck. Surely that has some other meaning than that, right, y'all? Like, where, what, what state are we in? I forgot. Did I ever know? Yo. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Hmm. You gotta say it like that, though? I know that was the door, not the loose springs, but I wanted to look at them. Oh. The door's still open, so what was that sound? We'll never know. Alright, well. Oh, it's just random sounds. Look at how gorgeous this place is. Imagine the motherfucking spiders, bitch. Ooh. Let's go here. Fuck it. There's a crow. Will you fly away loudly, Crow? Why am I walking slowly now? Hello, friend. I love animals. Oh, no, not the twings. Hey! Bird. You stop that! <laughs> Apparently, she hates animals. It's confirmed she hates animals. Animal hate Naz. What's your animal hate Naz? Damn. What's this? You know, I don't really have objectives, like, spelled out for me, so I'm, like, just doing random shit. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Okay, so Dylan was the radio person. <laughs> the announcer person. Dylan. Dylan's the ugly one. The pothead. What? Did I miss something, y'all? Fuck. <laughs> Did I miss something? It certainly sounds like I missed something. Just checking behind the shit. Never know what you can find behind the doors and the cracks and the corners. Fuck off, bush. 
fairly far off bush. Okay, so we don't have a map, so who knows uh, what the fuck I've ground I've covered, but so we did that cabin. We're not gonna just sit here and do all these fucking cabins. I have no reason to go in all of them, right? Oh, uh, okay. Let's go up to this one. Okay, no. I wish you could see the prompts. Maybe you can. I hope you can see the prompts for interaction, like, further away, so I don't have to, like, walk all the way up the goddamn stairs. Every day. Look, what's this? Dylan is not going to be happy that the guest was this one. What the fuck was that clownery? A recording of the Hackett's Quarry Camp song from years gone by. Technology may have moved on, but the song remains unchanged. I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Fucking creepy. Alex, I'm not gonna touch everything twice, y'all. In YouTube land, we don't got time. So that fucking thing can stay stay down there. And that's just how it's gonna be. What is this? Ooh, shiny. They're just colorful rocks, okay. Take a banana, like, around some children shit here. Evidence? Oh. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that, should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. And you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Uh, what? What? You gotta worry about evidence now? Oh, shit. Ouch. So Jacob hasn't seen this. It's just like people are in Jacob's business way too fucking deep. What is this? Empty vial. Empty vial with an unpleasant odor. Okay, cool. And I got an achievement for that. Hell yeah. Ugh. Oh, what Ugh. is it? What is that? Is it Dylan's? Is he saving <laughs> his jizz? Jizz in a vial? But why? Oh, wait. Did, I, did we say that was Dylan's? I don't think it said Jacob. It said Dylan. Dylan's gross. Oh, is it weed? Okay, that makes sense. He is a pothead, so. Dylan's pothead confirmed. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way of the things that are occurring. And if that's the case, then who gives a fuck? So, I guess this is the last building. I don't know. I'm about to miss all the evidence. Why does it look seem like sometimes doors are just a giant black fucking like square or rectangle? Maybe it's just my my screen, y'all. Shit, it's dark as hell. <laughs> all right, I'm coming, Emma. Let's scissor, please. Fuck Jacob. He seems like he's ready to roll. Terrible. This bitch has a padlock on her fucking. I mean, you're making me feel uncertain by giving me that choice, but I'm just gonna, let's just go. It's good. We're making choices. Finally. Whatever happens, happens. And then that's, that's how it's gonna be. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. <laughs> Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. No. You should Bye. try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Wait, so Nick is the one that. Bitch, I don't fucking think so! <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Yeah, they're trying to get me, bitch. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Shut up! Oh my god. Okay, so to... hypothetically, if I were to put you? myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. 
It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Four states? Yeah, sure. Oh no, that's too but far. That's us. You and Nick could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. She looks oh, 93. Hold on. Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Okay. Oh, I have a choice. I don't wanna make boring choices, y'all, but I wanna survive. Y'all, uh, I wish I was live streaming this so y'all got to tell me what the fuck to do. Uh, we want to live. We want to live. The scenic route might be beautiful, but it's extra. Emma's being too much. We're going to go back to the lodge. We're going to have a sandwich. Calm the fuck down. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. You she could think I'm a part of a raw date. She's probably going to fucking die. Shit, Abby! Did I hit it? Did I hit it? I panicked and... Oh, oh God, no. Oh, Emma. It's still live. No! That does not look good. Oh, no. I do. What have I done? Oh, the choices. Yeah, please. Thank you, Emma. You do it. Put it out of its misery. Excuse How are you going to come up with that idea and then make me do it? I know I'm the one that did it. It's suffering. Can we heal it? Can we? Well, we're not gonna leave. Fuck. I don't like these choices. Turn in the cart. Pretend like nothing ever happened. Or. Murder. It might live. <laughs> you know what? It's gonna live. It'll be fine. It's gonna no. live. No, I'm, I'm, I can't. I can't. It'll, it'll, it'll pull through. It'll pull through. It'll, why am I totally fucking Caitlyn right now? Like I'm this girl. These choices I'm making. It'll live. It'll live. <sighs> you bitch. How dare you? You made me scared of the scenic route. And it's all your fault. It would have been cruel not to. Yeah, well, good thing it was your idea. And you're the one that did it. How are you going to be like, let's do this crazy fucking thing. Here, do it. I'm like, the fuck? Oh, y'all, I chose bad things. <laughs> fuck. Oh. This Don't worry, Jacob. Well. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. This game does not run well. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. We're gonna fucking reset this shit. Let's see, we got paths. Down the rabbit hole. I wanna play a game. Something toys with you, but. Oh. It's the same shit. <sighs> so, are there 15 kids? Or, like, groups of people? Like, what the fuck? What's going on? Oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude. Okay, she this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> I'm actually getting a little bit of queer vibes from the stoner guy. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were so you Nick guys? Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the Oh hey, hey, here. Let me um let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? are you sure? Because I mean it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can No one asks you, care thank of you. Our own bag. Thank you. Mind your own fucking business. Like, let the two cool. people deal with the shit. 
Everybody in this fucking camp is too fucking much. Ugh. Too fucking nosy. It's too much, y'all. It's too much. Ah! Uh, I don't know. Nudge what? What did I nudge? Uh oh. Uh, Abby. Do you so, know? Yeah. The self proclaimed Can sexy I... guy. Thank you. Is paired with Frump and Dump. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know. Beauty's in the eye to be older, y'all. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off. Okay, being so all Ryan brooding is... and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? <laughs> Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Uh, protect it. Mind your own business. Friendly. Is it about me? <gasps> he likes him, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go that route. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast <laughs> about you? Okay, if anyone what is that a voice? podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. <laughs> oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, Wait, I kind of like him. <laughs> paranormal podcast. Oh. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. Oh. The okay. Hack of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? You don't know. Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> okay, His voice is so the deep. Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know, it's never sense. really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. Cool. It's right here in the podcast, man. Yeah, uh, it's in the podcast. Cool story, bro. And it's real because that's what the game's about. You should have seen the kids better than yours. Wait, I want to be supportive of Ryan because we're trying to do something. We're trying to do something. But that then defensive. Better than yours. Cool story, bro. Better than yours. I want to be defensive for him because I want to protect him. But supportive? Supportive of who? You should have seen the kids. Is he like... I don't... Supportive seems like it might be like I'm like mocking Ryan's like whole story and shit. Even though it says supportive, it... Defensive would be the thing that like... De defends him, right? Uh, who the fuck knows? I'm gonna choose defensive. Let's oh yeah, you got a cooler one? Oh no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, 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 seriously, dude. I think it just, it came out wrong. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's this? You done, Mr. H? We're up to it. It's fucking Get those butts David in Arnett or whatever. Why is he a squirrel? Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, deliberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, oh what you hiding in your mouth? Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Okay. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Oh. Why would I be a brat? Cool, it? cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Ooh! I'll share his earbuds then. We will swap earwats. 
and fall in love under the stars on the way back home. Listen into the podcast about the hag of Hackett Quarry. Hackett's Quarry Lodge. So, uh, Chris, I- I'm actually glad we I'm gonna need this game to not be laggy uh, every time. Uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, that's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w- with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, Hello. Let's hope little Ryan boy is pansexual because he's got two different genders coming after him. Listen to podcast or eavesdrop. Like, I want to do the thing that's, like, good, but, like, we're trying to survive, and he might have some information. What? I don't know what the rules are in this game. Like, are we supposed to be law-abiding citizens, and that's how we live? Like, because we're not going to fucking do that, so... Except for when we're Caitlyn, and then they're almost out of here. All right, get the squirrels. Just hold your damn horses. All right, everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it. I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Stop. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, you I heard, heard him walking towards uh, you, and you just. I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on. It's sorry I pushed you out like that. Everybody's disappointed in me. I'm not cool enough. You, uh, you need a hand. Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, uh. busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do? Right. You, you know, listen, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus. You know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam- our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Yeah, but so are your dreams. Dang it! <laughs> Look at his face. What the fuck? Is Don't make it about us. Okay. You got a hot day tonight. Oh boy. If you only knew. You know who he is? <laughs> He's the fucking guy from the Pokemon Pikachu Detective fucking movie. I know he looked familiar. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. I mean, sorry. Again, I there's no reason to be such a big deal. Got to understand about the repercussions it. of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? Uh, you guys don't do kumbaya don't anymore? Gen Z ass. Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. <laughs> Look. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. I mean, I'm already being a nosy fucker, so let's just do it all the way. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Bitch, you better stop lying to me. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Ryan is so good. Good goddamn, are they?
Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her <laughs> Not whole that life real ahead picture of her. Of fucking... They both just come and go as they please, really. <laughs> Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. There's a lot of like I the van, put the keys in my pocket, here. came in the office. Like, are we good or are we not good? Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Her. Her. He's wearing shorts. That's hilarious. So, camp counselor. I mean, the fucking sheriff guy, or whatever. Make sure, sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Yeah, okay. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> what? I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Okay. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh, oh no. I, know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Shut yeah, see that. Oh, this is where I yeah, could blow dude, up. It's just like kaput. All right, let me try. But I took out the, the spinny thing Dude, and not. I'm telling you, all right, it's busting. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. It's like Come the on. acting's good, Chill. but the script. Chill, go. dude. It's not. <laughs> Damn it. Path updated. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well. Coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is. Oh, I don't Does like it. this camera angle. Damn it! Oh, I don't like the camera angle. I made it so he didn't blow up. I think that's what just happened, y'all. I swear that's what just happened. Okay. That camera angle. Okay. Uh, look, it's not Die. that big of a deal. Okay, we'll just spend one more night here. No, no, just stop. Let me think. <sighs> okay. Ryan knows. Comes up. There's somebody on the loose. <sighs> Calm down, dude. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Which direction? Fucking make me run over goddamn squirrels. Tell me the direction. Late as hell. And what am I right hey, about? Ron. Come here for a sec. Oh, now we're buddies. Sure you don't want to scold me some more, fucking asshole? Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. So is Ryan the main character? I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I mean, I got promise anything you want me to fucking promise, but. Again, no need to be a brat. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! Um. You're making so much noise to be telling me to keep the noise down. Okay. Everybody's gonna leave the so, fucking shit right away. Watch. What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are that voice. you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. <laughs> we could go inside. Until morning. Yeah. Or... Come on. Don't say things or that are bad. We could do something else. Like die? No. 
We're fucking staying inside, no, bitch. We're no, all surviving no, this. No, no, no. We should. I don't really care how boring to what Chris it is. Told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. I was not five years old anymore. Get in the damn house. A R T. Why the fuck not? All right. It seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? In the okay, house. Okay. 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 One in the house. last epic bonfire blowout no. for all time. No. Can I say no? No. This is gonna oh, happen. Dude. Oh. Uh, yes. I'm in. Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. Those <laughs> yeah. are too much, y'all. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out. You Team know? Caitlin like, and um, Ryan. <laughs> like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? No, he's saying freaked out, y'all. Be I don't scared. Think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. I'm not gonna let them die. They can bully me all they want. Someone has got yeah, to give well, a shit. Someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me to do. Yes. Ryan's living, and my boyfriend right here is Ryan, coming with come me. Come on, man. Wait. Come on. Come on, Dylan. You want to live too, right? All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Jawline, have an ass. planning committee. Let's do this. Um. Okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, oh you boy. will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. I mean, it sounds exciting, but we know what's going to happen. We're all going to die. It's not time to party. You saw that squirrel. He's the first one. And now we're about to be sniped. And y'all want to party. Here we go. Here we the fuck go. We're getting sniped by rednecks out here. Oh, hell no. And then here's this fucking MAGA hat having ass. Oh, no. Here we go. Is that a sign that says it's hunting season? Shit. Hey, it's that guy. He's famous. And he's drinking fucking. Oh, cute. He drank some blood? I thought that was, um, the thing, you know. The alcohol. Why are you bloody? Why is everybody bloody? We're, we're, we're finna die. We're finna die? Oh, no. What does it say? Predictable as shit. Check. <laughs> Fuck, dude. So now we have rednecks that are trying to kill us, and we got fucking actual monsters that are trying to kill us. Oh, great. Maybe the rednecks are friends again. Oh, hey, woman. I was hoping you'd come back to me. How are you? How are you, Michelle Potter? Let's see what you found. Yes. Empty handed. Oh. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. I was looking! Find them, please. Oh, I bet one was in the cabin when I got, you know, like, after the fucking luggage that I grabbed. That's a whole part of the you cabin. You better be going. Fuck. It's still early and the moon is bright, but oh, time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves, and look out for my cards. If you don't get your denture lips having ass, out my goddamn face. I was looking for the cards. I got kicked out of the fucking cabin. 
And that's gonna be it for this episode, yo! Oh wait, I said Caitlyn, Team Caitlyn, what the fuck? Abigail, I'm an idiot. Team Ryan and Team Abigail, because they're gonna live, you wanna know why? Because they're not fucking around. Then we got Caitlyn, sexual frustration. No, and that's not even the case. That's not even the story anymore with her. Cause I, now we realize that she likes Ryan. Abigail likes the half British dude. Uh, Dylan likes Ryan as well. We're gonna try to get that going. Cause I'm bored of the whole fucking like boy meets girl shit. Okay, we're gonna fucking be gay as hell here. All right. And then we got Jacob, who is a total fuck up apparently. Fucking the shit up. They're all gonna die. Uh, they're all gonna die. That squirrel foreshadowing wasn't my fault y'all i i tried i tried i tried <laughs> Fuck. anyway in the next episode we'll see where this all leads um in the next video i'm gonna be playing some more of uh, uh, mortuary assistant and to try to beat that it should be too many episodes more than that because i think it's supposed to be short i don't know and yeah i guess that's it y'all thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode stay questing y'all bye